Hello everyone, I am Param. I scored 98.4 two years ago in 2023, and this is day three of my 500 out of 500 series. In the past two videos, we covered all the fears and misconceptions, and I kind of motivated you to study for this exam, right? Nothing like that is going to happen in today's video and every single video from now on. I liked my motivation myself, but I had to give it to me because I had to clear conception. Now, what the actual work starts is the strategies. Ka. So in today's video, we are going to be covering the maths strategy to score full marks in board exams. It will go from very basic to very advanced and make sure to watch the whole video. Chalo, let's start off with the basics. Sabse pehle tumhare ko NCRT karni hi karni hai. We discussed this in previous video as well, but how to do it? Sabse pehle read the fucking theory. Oh my God. Sabse pehle read the theory of NCRT. Yes. Tumko lagta hai ki tumhe read karne ki zarat nahi hai. You think and you do not need to read the NCRT of maths, but you do need to. Because every single thing about the theory is included in a story type of, type of manner. And that makes it way easier for you to understand maths. More than actually, you know, formula, solve, formula, solve. I have been doing this since 6th, 7th class. I got to know ki why NCRT is that good in 6th class itself. And so I have been, you know, guiding everyone to read the NCRT as well of maths. So first, read the NCRT. And it's not like, okay, read. You read the page, you try to solve the example verbally, then exercise comes. You need to solve the whole exercise. Then move on to like if you solved 1.1, then read the 1.2 se pehle wala segment. 1.2 exercise, 1.2 done, 1.3 se pehle, 1.3 done, 1.4 pe aake, and that's how you need to do it. Do not skip optional exercises. You should never skip them because most questions come from those optional exercises only. Why does CBSC register them as optional? Well, that is because boards is meant to promote basic literacy as we have discussed in the previous video. So it is optional for someone who just wants to pass, but you really want to score 95 plus, 96, 97, 98, 99 or whatever, you need to do the optional exercises as well. Now let's come on to the part which will actually help you more. Make two notebooks. One is a formula book. It's a small notebook in which you'll write all the formulas of all the chapters. Okay. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be very small and very short. You do not need to worry about it that much, but you need to revise it at least 20 times before your exam. So starting from today, December 6, you need to revise it at least 20 times before your maths board exam. Now the second notebook, the second notebook is actually a notebook of hard questions. I will be thinking, do I need a notebook of hard questions? I can already mark them in the book. No. What you can mark in the book is the question itself, not the solution, not the idea which gave the solution, not in your own words. You need to write the question in those hard notebook while in those hard questions while notebook and then write the whole solution. Now, which questions to write? Well, first of all, the hard questions as the notebook suggests, but any question that you have having difficulty in solving, or any question that you know doesn't really phase you then check up their solution and write the question and solution and and write the question and solution in that notebook once written the question and solution you can do this for every single chapter of the ncrt and try to solve these questions again later sometime later one week later two weeks later or you can just read these solutions what reading would actually do is it would put the idea into your mind Let's say, a question. Let's say you have a question where there are two values given 1.4 and 2.9 and you have to do something with this. Now, if you change that question to 2 and 4, then you can know that okay, the type of question is same, but it is not the exact same. We need to know the idea behind this question. And that is what you need to do by reading this hard notebook while you copy again and again. And so this wraps up your NCRT, how to do it and creating this formula book and revision notebook. This will guarantee you 90, 91, 92 marks. Now let's get on to the actual cream stuff, which you have never heard on YouTube. So first I will divide your paper into five parts. This is your paper maths cup. So your maths paper is divided into five parts. One marker, which are MCQs, two mark questions, three mark questions, four mark questions, five mark questions in which four mark questions are actually case based studies. Okay. Maybe the five mark questions will come as four marks question only. We'll find out. But four marks ke three case based studies are there in your paper. Now let's cover on how to actually maximize our mark in all of these one marker, two marker, three markers. This is something you have never heard on YouTube. You have heard the steps, but you have not really, you know, analyzed this breakdown ever. So let's start with this. 
first mcqs start what do these mcqs actually want first of all the mcqs will consist of one direct formula application questions two conceptual questions which are only one step three application questions of some random identity in trigo or triangles okay so these three are the type of mcqs that will be in the exam except the fourth type which is actually a sub type of application based only but they are called competency based questions what are those questions those those questions are the ones in which you need to apply your actual core concept and to apply the core concept you need to read the ncert well if you read the ncert well you know the core concept very well and you can identify the questions in which that will be applied and actually apply them easily people are very scared of competency based questions there have been rumors that 50% of the paper is going to be competency for 3 years straight of course it does not happen and it is not true in this case as well but if if it does end up being true you are prepared because you have read the ncert and made your core concepts clear so this part of mcqs is already covered application is already covered now for the conceptual and direct formula based questions we just need to practice them where to do this practice because ncert doesn't include a lot of mcqs well ncert has its own resource called ncert exemplar in which it contains mcqs one marker two marker three marker four marker all questions but specifically the mcqs are the most important ncert exemplar so the direct formula based and the conceptual questions will be covered by solving the ncert exemplar only for the ncert exemplar for whole one marker two marker three marker four marker questions but you really have to do it for at least the mcqs if your pre boards are coming just complete it for the mcqs right now and then complete the two marker three marker four markers as well later on now that we have completed the mcqs let's come to the two marker questions two marker questions are of two types single step double step um, formula based questions in which you just need to apply second it actually has something hatke in that question what i mean by that is you need to actually derive the questions yourself from the data given this same thing is applied in three markers and four markers also so to combat this i will tell you how to combat it right away in these questions there is a specific resource given by cbse called cfpq search it on google it is called competency focused practice questions by cbse itself maths class 10 cfpq and you will get the pdf for free this book was specifically designed to contain all the competency based questions in which you have to derive the formula yourself from a given data or derive the question yourself from a given data like if you will be given a data about you know some ages you have to derive the linear equations from there and then solve them and so to complete these questions in 2 3 4 marker based questions and the case studies as well you need to complete the cfpq as soon as you can ncert exemplar complete cfpq complete now we have covered the one marker and two marker questions let's come to the three marker five marker four marker questions four marker we have already covered due to cfpq so three marker and five marker questions these questions are repeated the most do you know why because you can't really create something very very new with so little knowledge available in the book every single year the book minimally changes so the knowledge applied in questions is the same why would the questions be different if the knowledge applied in 2024 paper is the same as 2025 paper is the same as 2022 paper then the paper questions are bound to be the same as well think about it and that is why everyone tells you why pyqs are so important you have never thought about why it can be important it is because these are questions designed by cbsc itself they have given them already in a paper means they are worthy to be asked again and so the most important resource after the ncert is pyqs do you know why because i have already explained you why i'm not going to explain it to you again <laughs> so ncert whatever we discussed then the notes NCERT exemplar, CFPQ, and PYQs. Now, how how many PYQs should we do? Actually, you can do it from 2010 onwards. If you want to go back, you can do that as well. If you want to go front to 2013, 2014, 2015, that is also allowed. 2015 के आगे के तो करने ही हैं. 2015 that's part that you remember the hard questions notebook you made, right? So whatever hard questions you find in NCERT exemplar, CFPQ, and PYQs as well, write it as this as well, because then. you will have all the ideas cleared and this gives you the maximum chance to score full marks according to your practice you this does not guarantee full marks now you'll be thinking i'm click baiting no what i mean by that is the biggest skill that cbsc and every student overlooks is actually answer writing 
Now this video has already exceeded a lot of time. It has been about 10 minutes already. So in tomorrow's video, we're going to be covering maths answer writing from step by step for each one marker, two marker, three marker, four marker, five marker questions and deep diving into the examiner's psychology so that we can score full marks for guarantee. You have already done NCRT, CFPQ, PYQs and NCRT exemplar. This is enough for 100 marks if you have good answer writing. And so I'll be teaching you answer writing that even if you did not do all of these, you can still score full marks. That's how important answer writing is. In today's video, we actually covered maths one by two part, which is what to do. And in tomorrow's video, we're going to be covering what to write. मैटर क्या करेगा तुम्हारी राइटिंग ही करनी है ना आखिरी में तो उस पर आएंगे अभी के लिए शुरू हो जाओ आई विल री कैप दिस वंस अगेन फॉर यू एन सी आर टी रीड लाइन बाई लाइन डू ऑल द क्वेश्चन देन नोटबुक्स दो बनाओ फॉर्मूला बुक एंड हार्ड क्वेश्चन बुक एंड हार्ड क्वेश्चन बुक में जो भी अगले रिसोर्सेज आते हैं उनके भी सारे क्वेश्चन होने चाहिए एन सी आर टी एग्जाम्पल सी एफ पी क्यू एंड पी वाई क्यूज इफ यू डू नॉट हैव द टाइम टू सॉल्व ऑल दोस्त थ्री वैसे यू डू बिकॉज इट इज सिक्स डिसंबर राइट नाउ बट इन केस यू डोंट You have to do NCERT exemplar MCQs always and two markers. CFPQ the whole book. PYQs from 2015. And thanks for watching this video.